New England, it's Marcy, Vice President at NUPRO, and I'm super excited to be here with Professor Pete. I call him Professor Pete because he is our Professor of Home Improvements at NUPRO. Pete is the guy who's in the know about all of our products. So we're gonna to provide to you an educational series on home improvements, and today we're gonna to start with none other than Windows, because that is the foundation of our business. That's where NUPRO was founded. Mm -hmm. And that's what most homeowners know us for. So there's so much to know about windows. What is the difference between new pro windows and all the other windows that are out in the marketplace today? So we have the frame of the window and then that's one part of it. And then we have what we call the glass pack, mm -hmm. which a glass pack is what they call an IG in the industry, which just means insulated glass or insulated glazing. That's two pieces or three pieces of glass that are sealed together so that air can't get in or out. So once that seal gets compromised, that's when people start to see little moistures or fogging. white fogging yeah. in your window. Yeah. And that's called a seal failure because that seal that keeps them together failed. Okay. Um, so on a sense of energy efficiency, your glass pack is going to be probably the most important part of that, that window. If that big opening you have, that big hole in the wall, most of it's glass. Right. And, and glass is a terrible, terrible, terrible insulator. Mm -hmm. Glass itself does not stop heat or cold. So if you ever drank a coffee, have you ever drank a coffee out of a glass? Mm -hmm. And how hot does that glass get real quick? Right. And it can crack. So yes. heat travels through glass so quickly that you have to put materials on there called what we call low E glass, which stands for low emissivity, which is a bunch of microscopic layers of different type of metals mm -hmm. that actually reflect that heat off the window and back into your home and on the outside reflects it off the glass back outside so you're not getting excess heat through the glass and you're saving on your heating bills on the inside because of that low E coating and then we also put an, um, an inert gas in between and there's a couple different gases that are out there. There's um, argon, krypton, and I'll go over chemistry. all the science, yeah. the chemistry of, yeah. of how all that works a little bit later. But that's just basically putting another layer of insulation between these two paints, mm -hmm. or these two paints. Amazing. Who knew there was so much to learn about There's a, a lot. There is a lot. Mm -hmm. So again, these are all features that you don't find in every single window. No. And they all contribute to the energy efficiency of the window. Correct. And that's measured with a U value? Yes. In a wall, when we use pink stuff insulation, we look at this R value. Okay. And an R value just stands for resistance to heat. That's how much heat is resisted by that material. Mm -hmm. The U factor that we use is actually how much of that heat is allowed to pass through that unit. So the okay. lower the number in a U factor is the better. The more energy efficient Correct. It is. And okay. requirements up here in the Northeast uh, require a window to be at a 0.27 mm -hmm. U factor or lower. Or better, okay. The window that we offer here, this is our triple pane, our Ultramax window, that's going to give you about 0.16. Wow. And for every one point, or zero one point, is about 3% more efficient. Okay. So if you were to get a window that's a 0.27 compared to a 0.16, that's 11 times 3 is 33% more efficient. This is 33 more efficient than that other than one. Than what the standard is yes. in the state. That's awesome. Amazing. 